and Auckland startup says it's found a breakthrough. This is a new way to slash methane from cows. A slow-release cow pill that could cut emissions by up to 75%. Ruminant Biotech has just raised $17 million to take the product to market. And Tom Breen is the CEO joining us now from a conference in Melbourne. Tom, good morning. Morning, Ryan. So tell us about the pill. Yeah, so for the last four years, we've been uh, working away really hard, developing what's called a, a, a bolus. So uh, we, um, uh, we've patented and, and, uh, and you know, proved out the, the, the bolus that's ready now to, or almost ready to, to go into cattle in New Zealand and Australia early next year. Uh, the bolus sits in the animal's stomach and it releases its, its blend of active ingredient over about three to four months. And while it's doing that, it's it's interrupting the microbes that produce methane, and reducing the uh, yeah the methane output from cattle. And how many trials or how many animals have been trialled on? Yeah, we've been going for about for four years now in the development phase, um, and over thirty animal trials over that time, looking at the performance of the product and the safety profile. What does it actually do? Can you explain in simple terms how you can stop the methane? I mean, it's still being produced by the cow, right? But you can stop it from being emitted? No, it actually stops it from being produced. So the, the active ingredient uh, in the bolus uh, is metabolised by the microbes that are in the, ru the rumen that typically produce the methane. And it just interrupts the last step of that. So instead of producing methane, they produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide. And that it, it uh, eliminates the, you know, the really uh, challenging problem of the methane. When you say 75%, you know, this number we're throwing around, is that the average of how much methane was prevented from being, well, well from even coming into existence, as you've now told us? Is that sort of an average? Is that, you know, the, the maximum? Yeah, we, so we actually say greater than 75% for up to 100 days with our first generation products. So um, over that period, it's, it's somewhere around that 75 to up to 90%. Um, and it depends on a range of factors around, you know, what, what's going on with the animal, what it's eating at the time, uh, even the, you know, the, some of the climatic impacts have an impact on how much methane is actually produced each day. But yeah, we, you know, we're, we're confident enough to four years of trials now that, that, that the product's going to have a really meaningful impact. Um, and by that, we, you know, we, we mean uh, greater than 75% methane is, is prevented from, from being produced for up to 100 days. When you say for up to 100 days, does that mean you take another pill and then it keeps going? Yeah, our first generation product is going to be a one use only. So in, in New Zealand, it'll be for a beef animal. Um, we'll be able to dose that from when it's around about 350 kilos once it's reached that, that, um, uh, that size. Uh, and we'll treat the animal once. And once that treatment is over, that animal will typically go uh, away and be turned into delicious steaks and sausages and, uh, and that sort of thing. So in future, we'll have, uh, you know, we'll, we'll extend the, 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 the product registration and the, and the product portfolio so that we can have multiple treatments uh, across animals like cows that are, you know, they're going to need to be treated multiple times over their lifetime. All right, Tom, here's all my dumb questions. If you're not, if, if you're stopping them from making methane, does that mean that they create something else? You know, is there going to be some unintended consequence or byproduct of this process? That's the great thing about the uh, the technology is it um, you know it's really effective at reducing methane and it's proven that it's that it's safe for the animals uh, and it's 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 going to be safe for the environment and, and safe for the for the produce as well. So um, so the short answer is no. Uh, the methane stops being produced. Hydrogen and carbon dioxide get get uh, produced instead, and uh, the animal continues to work away, turning its food into energy and um, and, and growing the products that we need. Tom, I'm sorry, this sounds too good to be true. I mean, half of our greenhouse gas emissions come from methane. It's a massive problem, one that, you know, we've got all sorts of legislation that's being proposed, then being cut, etc. You're saying this pill could fix it for 75% of emissions in the first 100 days. It's, I mean, it sounds incredible. Yeah, it is. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really um, great solution. You know, the industry's been working hard now for, for you know, um, you know, for, for a long time around bringing solutions to market that, that can tackle this problem. Ch addressing methane uh, emissions from livestock in agriculture is really difficult. And the major reason for that is that most of, most of the world's cattle are spending most of their life out on pastures. So it's actually quite, you know, quite challenging to, to address the problem where it is. 
Um, so we set out to do that four years ago. Our, our mission was to, um, to be able to tackle emissions where the problem was at its worst, which is in pasture grazed cattle. And, um, you know, really, really pleased with the progress that we've made. And, and this capital raise is, is validation of, of that. And we're just really look, looking forward now to, um, to, to achieving this last uh, regulatory milestone we've got in New Zealand early next year and bringing this solution to Australian and New Zealand farmers so they can, they can start to, um, uh, to tackle this problem that, that we need to address. Yeah, what is that regulatory milestone that you need to get over? What do you have to show? Yeah, so New Zealand Food Safety is uh, responsible for uh, registering ag agricultural um, compounds and vet medicine. So we're going through a, a, a regulatory assessment uh, process with them. They look at all the things that you'd expect to look at, the performance of the product that it does, what it says it, says it would do, uh, the safety profile of it for, for animals and for consumers and the environment. Uh, so we're just in the final stage of, of, of that. Um, it's been progressing very well. Uh, we're really happy with how it's going and, and looking forward to achieving that milestone uh, early next year. Tom, I can't help but notice you have an Australian accent. This is definitely a Kiwi startup, eh? We're not, <laughs> we're not claiming, yeah. like, we're not doing a pavlova here. <laughs> uh, it absolutely is. So um, I, you know, thank you for noticing. It's uh, <laughs> a little bit hard to, <laughs> to leave behind, but. Um, Hey, look, there's an amazing ecosystem in New Zealand, incredible industry support that's sitting behind this. Um, and, you know, I, I was thrilled when I got to know the business to um, to make the move over the ditch and, um, you know, working with a great bunch of people and a great great bunch of shareholders and, and, a, and a supportive industry in New Zealand. And we're going to take this technology to the world and, and, and show, um, you know, genuine uh, Kiwi um, ingenuity and innovation and, and, and really uh, make it, you know, show the world that we can lead in this area. Brilliant. Tom, go hard. Appreciate your time this morning. Tom Breen, Ruminant Biotech CEO.